Get ready to welcome a great guest. You know him from Atonement. Mm -hmm. He was a young Charles Xavier in the X-Men movies. Now he's been in the hit thriller Split, also starring in the sequel Glass. Oh, yes, we saw it yes, last I night. Did. It's fantastic. Great. Please welcome James McAvoy. <laughs> How's it going? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. So I heard something this morning I didn't know, that before acting, uh -huh. you were a confectioner in training at a bakery <laughs> in Scotland. That's a, that's a jump. <laughs> that is a jump. That is a jump. I was a trainee confectioner. Um, I sort of put the finishing, I put the final bit of cream on the gateau. Um, <laughs> aye, and, uh, and a wee bit of kiwi fruit here and there, maybe a wee mandarin. Uh, so yes, uh, it was it was quite good, and I got to eat as much fruit as I liked. As well. Oh, so the fruit, not the cake. Why does that get a round of applause? <laughs> <laughs> this is a country of consumers. They applaud. <laughs> they applaud the eating. Yeah. Can you still bake? Uh, I do still bake, but not anything too serious. I make a nice little strawberry and rhubarb tart, and I make it. And that can get in a round of applause. Come on. And, um, and I make. I make banana bread regularly. But you couldn't have eaten that much no. banana bread when you're getting ready for this movie. So put up a picture right oh. here. What are we seeing there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's the, that's the non-CGI version as well. <laughs> that is actually taken by, taken by Jessica Kunis. The CGI version is great, but, <laughs> but the non-CGI version I'm still very proud of. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I ate a lot of food though. I ate a lot of carbs, uh, a lot of rice, a lot of potato, a lot of protein, and I hired this Viking looking dude called, um, yeah, he's, if you look at him, really? it's called Magnus Ligdback. He's from Sweden, which is where Vikings were born. And, um, and he does, he looks like a proper Viking, but he just, <laughs> there he is, yeah. Oh, wow. uh, he's just, he's got the knowledge, he knows what he's doing. It's called the, the Beast. Well, Josh, the, 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 the Beast the, Workout? The, the Beast Workout, yeah. And it was, <laughs> it was beastly. No. Guys, I, I watched the film last night. You mm -hmm. are brilliant. Oh, thank brilliant. You. You're very kind. Thank you. Yeah. Of course, it's a sequel to Split and uh, Kevin Wendell Crumb. Yeah. And has 23 personalities. Yeah, I th he's got 24 actually. Um, we, we played 23 in the making mm -hmm. of the film. The way Knight edited it, uh, we show 20. I don't know why he cut those three out. Maybe I was just really bad at acting <laughs> those three, but he cut those three out, so uh, yeah. How many can you name? Oh God. How can um, you name? Um, Patricia, Dennis, Kevin, Hedwig, Norma, Jade, uh, Luke, Polly, Mary, uh, Samuel, Mary Reynolds, uh, Mr. Pritchard, the beast, the beast, the beast, the beast. The beast. The beast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Truth is, truth is, a couple of them didn't have names um, while we were making them. It was just like a uh, weird guy or um, <laughs> a lady. And they had a characteristic in the writing, but they didn't have something that sort of personified them in their name uh. yet. So uh, we left that to laughter. Do you have a favorite? Uh, yeah, probably Patricia. Because she is. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Because yeah. she's. She's a complicated lady. She's living in a man's body for a start, and um, and she can't transition because she shares that body with lots of men, and you know it's a it's, you know it's a timeshare, <laughs> and um, <laughs> it is. But I think she's devout and she's celibate. She's mm -hmm. all about faith, formerly to Christianity and latterly to the beast. But at the same time as she's celibate, I think she's constantly looking for somebody to yeah. break that celibacy and touch her. You know what I mean? She'll never let it happen. Well, but she's, she's in constantly there with a lot of fantasizing. Men. She's in there, with, and then Samuel L. Jackson comes wheeling through the door, and she's, Woo! you know. Yeah, she was She's very sort of like, is this the moment? Is this, is this, is this my first time? Uh, and I love that about Patricia. I think we've got a clip, right? Yeah, let's see. Let's take a look. So what's your superpower? Your, your mind? What's mine? You're nine forever, right? Yeah. Well, that's incredible. You can see the world the way it really is. Always. A kid who can never grow old. <laughs> He's Samuel L. Jackson. What an honor to work with that guy. He's incredible and he's got such a joy for what he does. And you know, the man's 
and he's you know not a new guy do you know what mm -hmm. I mean he's been about for a while and I've met actors half his age who are jaded and over it and just doing it for the money and so he's he there every day because he, he loves brings, it yeah. yeah he really does and you're busy. You've got another uh, another one coming up. You're in the sequel to Stephen King's It. Yep, I'm in wow. It Two. Yeah. You, you, you okay with clowns? I think we're going to call it It Part Do. It Do. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a clown or something in it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're good yeah. with clowns. He's like he's like the fifth character or something. No, he's amazing. The guy that plays the clown is is terrifying. Um, he's a lovely guy, and yet he's just he really freaked me out. I remember standing there with like he did oh. it with like the rest of the cast, all these adults, and we've all done weird, freaky stuff, and you, we are all looking at each other going like, I don't like being here. I don't like, I don't like being an actor today. This is really... Yeah, I really did. It really yeah. freaked me out. I never liked clowns as a kid, and I thought, oh, you know... The, what is it about clowns? Uh, I'm with you, I hate it. Yeah, yeah. same. Just, I don't know. It's something like I'm... Uh, Guy wearing makeup, or uh, they're crying, but they're laughing. There's something tragic about them, you know. Maybe they've all run away to join the circus. What are you running away from, Mr. Clown? You know, like what are you left behind? Are they, is it like bodies in a trunk? I don't know. It's like, <laughs> something scary about them. I think you explained it pretty well. So we, we do have Samuel Jackson coming here tomorrow. Do you have anything we should ask him or tease him about? Um, you can... No, he's unteasable. <laughs> he is, actually is unteasable. I've done so many interviews with him now in this press junket, and people will ask him a little teasy, teasy joke, and they'll be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand a question. <laughs> and he will, like, quite often swear, which you guys don't need. So I say, stay away from it. You know what okay. I mean? Good play intel. Straight, Good straight, intel. Just play a straight Good arrow. Tips. Good yeah. intel. Yeah. Appreciate that, James. Thank you. They're going to be here tomorrow. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. 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 Thank